a tackle so bad it ended a player's career, a headbutt so big that it became bigger than a World Cup final. These are the craziest revenge moments in football. And back in 2006, France played Italy in the FIFA World Cup final, and Zidane was playing in his last match ever and had the chance to retire from football in all his glory with the biggest trophy in the game. But one guy had other plans. The match got off to the perfect start for France, with Zidane putting them ahead. But the Italians leveled minutes later, and the match went on into extra time. And that's when things got crazy. With the match still a tie, Marco Materazzi thought the best thing he could do was getting into Zidane's head. So he fouled him, tugged at his shirt, and it worked. Because Zidane saw this and told him, hey, if you want my toy that bad, I can give it to you after the game. And Matarazzi must have been having some French lessons because what happened next became even more famous than the final itself. The cross has cleared the ball. Oh my word! Zidane lost it, man. He wasn't known for scoring a lot of headers, but this one certainly hit the target. Matarazzi must have needed surgery in the ER, but he must have felt at home because one time this dude was hospitalized for days. Yeah, Marco Matarazzi again, 2006 a Serie A match between Juventus and Inter Milan, and who they were leading 2-0 and bossing the game. So Inter were desperately needing an advantage in any form, and Matarazzi thought he had found the perfect solution. Damn, man! This made Ibrahimovic leave the field. He was in so much pain he couldn't carry on. But time passed by, and you went on to play some FIFA and forgot all about it, right? But Zlatan? Nah, you know he wouldn't let things go by that easily. So he started silently planning his revenge on Matarazzi. During this period, Ibrahimovic became a martial arts master, and in 2010, he became a Taekwondo black belt holder. And one year later, he joined AC Milan. Finally, five years after the tackle that got him injured, the moment Zlatan had been patiently waiting for was here, the Milan Derby. And Zlatan, he just started Matarazzi's initiation. Don't you love a good bromance? Jesus, what is it with this guy and getting injured by people? And I don't know which is more surprising, the fact that Matarazzi managed to breathe after this or that Zlatan only got a yellow. Point made, you do not mess with Zlatan. But some people are hard learners and this dude just had to learn it in a hard and very painful way. Back in 2016, Manchester United hosted Bournemouth and this one looked like it was going to be the average Premier League match. But Zlatan likes it big, man, and he decided to take things into his own hands. Literally, just like you do the plastic bag when your mom tells you it's your turn to take out the trash. Yeah, perfect technique. Now, Ming's a big dude, and he really wanted to get featured in our video. So he now had a new mission, take out Zlatan. Whoa, 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 hold on. I know as a defender, you're supposed to keep your head up and your feet on the ground, but when you almost break the skull of your opponent, that's going too far, man. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's one each, right? Wrong. Come on, man, this is Zlatan. He wanted to get the last word. So when a cross was put in the box and both Zlatan and Mings went to head it, he only had one thought in his mind. Clicking the like button and subscribing to the channel. And then, bam, an elbow straight to the head of Mings. Zlatan won, again. And you know what's crazier? No one got a red card. Not like the next one though. No, no, because the next one was so bad, a player nearly got his head ripped off his body. In 2018, Ajax played Bayern Munich in the UEFA Champions League group stage. And it was supposed to be a football match, but it was really 22 men trying to practice their own version of WWE finishers on each other. Watch this, look at, look at, oh, no! Tackles were coming in so fast, it was hard to keep count. The referee was trying to control the game and give out yellows only. But this tackle from Maximilian Wolber on Leon Goretzka made him change his mind. Man, that could have broken his ankle. A straight red card. Now, a guy that has always been known for standing up for his teammates when he needs to is Thomas Müller. So, after seeing what Wolber did to Goretzka, Müller decided to take the level up a notch. Way up. Honestly, I'm not sure about this one. It feels like either Mueller is a big fan of the Karate Kid, or he was inviting Tagliafico to come play in the Bundesliga. Anyways, the tackle was so bad that Tagliafico had to have stitches at the back of his head to stop the bleeding. Kind of like how Sergio Ramos had to have stitches at the back of his ear following a tackle that almost left him deaf. Back in 2019, Real Madrid were playing against Atletico Madrid in the UEFA Super Cup Final. 
And as the match was going on, Sergio Ramos decided to show Diego Costa just how much winning the Super Cup meant to him. I mean, look at this. I know, I know, it's just Sergio Ramos doing Sergio Ramos thing. But if there's one guy that was not going to let Ramos get away with this, you know it's Diego Costa. And when he had the chance to get his revenge, Diego did something so brutal, even the UFC might call it scary, man. It almost took his head off. That kick would have been enough to reset any brain. Ramos was on the deck struggling to understand where he was. But this wasn't the first time, because he once had a full fist knock him out in the air. In 2019, Real Madrid played FC Barcelona in El Clasico. And as expected, the match was tense. And Ramos, his blood just starts pumping, man. You know, he just can't control it. And he does everything it takes to win, no matter what stands in his way, or who. So when Messi attempted to block his path, Ramos had a little face-off with him and was a few inches away from blinding him. How dirty was this? No wonder Leo was so angry. But you see, Messi is an absolute icon at Barcelona and considered a club treasure. So when you mess with Leo, you mess with Barcelona. And Ter Stegen, he's a really big fan of Messi. So when Ramos decided to jump at his captain, he was having none of it. And when Real Madrid got a free kick and Ramos left his half to attack it, a wicked hit on the forehead. I think it's justified, man. I mean, at least he's allowed to use his hands during the game. But anyways, after that, all of them were still able to play. But this next guy, he not only got a red card, he got banned for months, and his opponent had to retire immediately. You see, in 1997, Manchester United and Leeds United were playing each other in the Roses Derby, and Roy Keane thought he had won a penalty when he was tackled inside the Leeds box. But the referee was not having it, and the Leeds players were furious, thinking that Keane was trying to buy the tackle. But Keane was actually injured and stayed down. And that's when one guy had a decision that would change his life forever. Alf Inga Holland. Yeah, Erling Holland's dad. He was so furious with Keane that he went over to him. And not only did he tell Keane to stand up, he also accused him of faking an injury. Now this is Roy Keane we're talking about. You know that this was full of balls from Holland. Or that's what he thought. Fast forward to 2001, and it's the Manchester Derby. Holland had switched leads for Man City, and Keane decided he had waited long enough. For four years, he had been patiently waiting to get his revenge on Holland. And with only four minutes left to play in the game, a career was ended. God damn, he didn't even go for the ball. He completely lost it. He was sent off, got suspended for three games, and fined $7,000. But hey, this is Roy Keane. So after admitting the tackle was intentional, he was fined an extra $215,000 and suspended for a further five games. Insane! 